morning. We are here today this morning to place you on notice what is going on in Biafra land. Team David, I'm calling on you right now to do the needful. Just like David Forsyth did. He was one of your journalists. He went straight to Biafra land during the Civil War to cover what is going on on ground. He had the first class information. But because he was being honest and telling exactly what was happening, you all gathered against him and he resigned and went back to Biafra land as an independent journalist to cover up what is happening in Biafra land. David Forsyth is a hero. Team David. Team David. Your position is being compromised. Your position is being compromised. Because each time they bring what is happening at Bethlehem to your table, you sweep it under the carpet. You say this must not be reported. Team David, I call on you right now to do the needful, to get yourself out of this evil act. For your sake and for the sake of the good British people. Listen, all of us standing here, the British people standing here, we pay our TV license so that we can listen to BBC News. But you know what? You never report what's happening in our land. That's right. The colonial change away, the terrorists are killing our people in Biafra land. Our women are being raped in the farm and killed and butchered. Our, our youth penises, 7,500 of our youth penises, were caught and sold in China. But BBC refused to broadcast it. But it was on the news. The Chinese people, the immigration reported it. But BBC turned their eyes the other way around. Because why is regarding Biafra and Sabah Biafra? Team David is aware of all this. Team David is aware that our our women, our 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 young women cannot go to the farm because they will be raped and killed. Team David will call it is a clash, a headers men clash. But he knows that it's genocide. They are committing mayhem in Biafra land. Now I'm calling on the good people of Britain to ask Tim David what has the Biafra done to him? What have we done? All the resources, all the resources in Nigeria is from Biafra land. And instead of them to let us go have our dependence and manage our resources, they prefer to negotiate with the terrorist Janjaweed, who is the Nigerian government, to suppress us, to kill us, so that you can continue to main our resources free of charge. Let me tell you, King David, in the 21st century, mineral resources is just nothing. The real resources is in our brain. Yeah. Yeah. The real resources is yeah. Brain resources. Yeah. The have got what is called brain yeah. resources. Yeah. And you cannot take that away from us. is also a British citizen travel to Kenya with his British passport and he was kidnapped from Kenya by the Nigerian DSS and taken to Nigeria and I'm asking BBC 
What have you done about it? Why are you not reporting it? Katrina Lan, who is the British ambassador to Nigeria, has got an oil well. She has got an oil well. Her position has already been compromised. He, she goes around collecting huge amounts of money, huge amounts of contracts from the terrorists, from the Janjaweed. And BBC knows about it, and they are not reporting it to the ordinary British people. Like my, my colleague has said previously, you bring all these terrorists down here to train, and after training them, they will go on the streets of London 